another beautiful morning at the swap meet. All right, we're here at the swap meet to look for video games, toys, anything nostalgia related. Ricky, what are you looking for today? Anything gaming related. I like it. And some would call us the Marlboro Men. Actually, show them my shirt. That's spicy, bro. And I never smoked a day in my life. <laughs> PS2, Xbox 360, a cable. How much is a controller? Well, this is PlayStation. It's not ten dollars. Ten bucks. Okay. All right. This is kind of sick right here. A Disneyland Resort. Really cool, actually. I like this one. Oh look, there's a backpack too. Is this sewn on? Oh no, this is official. 30th anniversary. Oh, cast member. Yo, it's a cast member. Ooh. Okay. Hold on to this. Ricky's got a Mitchie Mouse. It's a little big, but it's a vintage. Actually, maybe. I don't know. I don't want to promise you, Ricky, that I wouldn't sell it. I'm not, I'm not gonna get it anyways. Yeah, we'll see what they want. Ricky, nice. Cool little find right there, my guy. I'm trying to see these, look. Oh, those are dope, dude. Yeah, those are cool. Oh, no, oh, no. These invaders right here. Let's see, though, what he wants for everything. We got some little bag of stuff. Ricky just found. That thing's clean as a whistle, dude. I oh, know, the inside, leave the inside. Yeah, make sure it's in there, actually. No, 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 look, check it out. Oh, yeah, that's new, bro. All right, 40 bucks for everything I grabbed. 40, here you go. Nice, thank you. And I can put the rest in here, in my bag. Thank you. And then check it out, all these, so there is a whole bunch of Tomb Raider ones over here. This is like a GTA one, more Tomb Raider. Ricky, how did you get, how much you get that for? That's exactly what you wanted to pay, Ricky. I like it. Uh-oh. Ah! Check it out, so I got a few of these Space Invaders. I got one, two, three of them, all different color. Beautiful display, cast member backpack. I thought this was super interesting, a Mickey, like baseball style tee. And then a really rad vintage jacket, Disneyland Resort. Super cool stuff. That's nice pickups, man. <laughs> Yo, nice Santa Cruz. I love this. Design. How much is the board? 50? I like it. It's a clean one. Oh, I like those cabinets over there, too. How much are the arcades over there? How much is that one? Ah, he's thinking out loud. I don't know. We got Star Wars over here and Street Fighter. The Street Fighter one looks beat up. This one looks clean though. Yeah. It's got the side paneling, Ricky. Good old Ben Jammin. Oh, ben. That's what Ricky called you, by the way. Ben Jammin. Ben there you go, Ben, for you. Ben. <laughs> oh, so Power Ranger toy. Go for Ricky Ranger. Quick, name this Power Ranger. Blue Ranger Billy? <laughs> yeah, that's actually true. There you go, bro. <laughs> I know my stuff. Careful with this one, it'll slap you. Oh, look, oh my gosh, it's got slapping action. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get? So I got me a Pikachu Rayquaza. Rayquaza, Ooh. whatever you want to call it. Another Rayquaza. Rayquaza. And let me guess the name. Okay. Let me guess the name. Who's that Pokemon? Kyleo. It's something Gabo likes to say a lot. Kind of runs with oh oh. Oh oh. <laughs> Isn't it oh 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 or oh oh? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Hat, dude. Look at that hat. Oh, California games on the Atari. That's actually sick. I'm super curious what gameplay looks like on this. It could look it's good. It really oh, okay. Moon <laughs> Patrol. That's a great game, actually. Moon Patrol. Yeah. Food Fight. Kangaroo. Couple. He's 5200. He has two games. Yeah, 5200 games are awesome. What are you, what are you looking at over here? I main and let's check out this I like Bort. <laughs> Ooh, those VHS, Ricky. Ooh, how much is the Game Boy stuff? Yeah, 100 for everything. Let me check it out. Do you know if these work by any chance or not sure? Uh, well, they don't look too bad. How about the games all? Uh, the That's what I was literally going to. All right, same booth. He has a ton of other cool stuff, man. This guy has a great booth. Yo, how much for this? He left. He, he bailed on me. Let me see. Let me see it. Wait, let me see it. Oh, that's a, let me see that, bro. So we've got Samus up there. We've got the, wow, dude. Oh, dude, that's sick. You never see posters promoting them. Old Donkey Link Ricky. I, I'm paying up for it, but I had But to. it's sick. It's something How much is this guy, by the way? Uh, 10 bucks. 10 bucks? Yeah, Ricky, that is the coolest poster I've seen. If I don't see it, I'm gonna buy it. Yeah, you won't see that poster again. That's just the truth. Yo, some major scores already today. Oh, and guys, I just got this for 10 bucks. So also over here, we're not buying this, but they have a giant ET right here. Super sick. And they know that it's, you know, inexpensive. They're asking 1500 for it. So Which that's a cool black shirt. What is that? You got a cool shirt, Ricky. Show me the shirt you picked up. <laughs> that's Ricky. That's sick, bro. And it's from 91. Fun fact, my dad used to go around every day going, she gave me water, which is a quote from this. This ain't your, this ain't your uh, Disney version. All right, I just paid $110 for all this stuff, which honestly is a pretty major score. But before we go on, 
a word from our sponsor. I am super excited to be working with Omaze to offer you the chance to win a Superformance Mark III R, all while supporting a great cause, the Peterson Automotive Museum. Although yes, just looking at this car might be enough to make you wanna get it, but here's a little bit about the car in case you care. The max heating is two. It's got a 7.3 liter Ford Godzilla V8 engine, 650 horsepower, 630 pounds of torque, and the fuel capacity is 17 gallons. And if you do happen to be lucky enough, the winner does get to choose the paint job and some other custom features. Go to omaze.com slash PGS to enter for your chance to win. If I won a car this beautiful, I would quite literally possibly change our logo because we're in a pretty cool car, but nothing this cool. Honestly, on the real, this would be kind of my dream to cruise around hunting in this vehicle. In the past few years, Ricky and I have spent numerous hours together watching shows like the American Pickers, where they wander around in a cool vehicle, driving around, picking up a lot of cool items. For us, the dream would be to tow a nice trailer behind this beautiful vehicle. While doing so, you'll be supporting a nonprofit that explores and preserves the history of the automobile industry and its impact on life and culture. The museum is a center for automotive research and collecting, including reaching communities by extending educational programs and community events. So for your chance to win a Superformance Mark III R, go to omaze.com slash PGS and enter now. Donations support the amazing work of the Peterson Automotive Museum. And honestly, I think that's cool. Now, back to the show. So there's a bunch of Game Boy games loose. Nothing, actually, I'll, I'll say right now, nothing that I know is a banger because you never know with this stuff. These both look really clean and have their battery covers. None of the prongs are messed up. This was in there. That's a great one. Um, I just got all these in there. And this was the hidden gem, thanks to Caleb, about a $50 game right here. Everything is in really good Yay. condition, so really stoked. But Ricky, wow. Wow, Ricky. I didn't mean God. <laughs> that is the coolest poster I've seen in years, bro. I'd be, I'd be curious, man, on that thing. Sheesh. I've never seen it, so I had to pick it up. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh. I knew <laughs> I had to have it. Hey <laughs> Look at all these Garfields. <laughs> Look at all the Garfields. I love it. Yo, Ricky. Look at this Garfield. <laughs> Where is it? Hello? Hey, Gabo. Something is not right here. Here at Dusty's booth. Look at Ricky. This is a cool book. Look at it. Ricky, Jurassic Park. I love it. <laughs> and then a lot of Lord of the Rings goblets and stuff. I've never looked this stuff up. Uh, it's not my favorite type of display, even though I do love Lord of the Rings. Ooh, Rainforest Cafe. Rainforest Cafe t-shirts are actually expensive. <laughs> the, the, the WCW. You, you want to see, see the candy of the day? Here you go, by the way. I owe you 20 bucks. Oh, that's a entrance fee. Ooh, the entrance fee. I, I want to see what you got back here, bro. What is it? Do you see what TV's got on right now? I know, bro. I want him to sell it to me. <laughs> oh, damn. You saw it. Oh, 600 bucks, too. Yeah. I mean, the corners tore, but it's a super <laughs> rare game. I don't know, like, it's loose there. Run Saber. Oh, Run, run Saber. And what's great about Run game. Saber is it's a great video game, too. Dude, if Caleb ever comes back, Phoenix Resale to go bodyboarding with us, we got him aboard. <laughs> What's up, bro? Oh. All right, I'm gonna pick up this Beatles one, Ricky. What about you? What do you got over there? I got this Led Zeppelin one. Led Zeppelin? Oh, yeah. I like Led Zeppelin. Wow, good good layout, Ricky. Wow. Metal what? Ooh, Metallica. Probably the one. This is my keeper right here. Ooh, and Goons and Roses. Goons and Roses. All right, Ricky, you can't move, but if I make this in your bag, you can have it. It has to go in your bag and you can have it. <laughs> oh, shoot. Hey, Ben, are you chilling? <laughs> that Barbie's chilling. <laughs> what is he? A plush? How much is he? How much is that? 15. For a Trunkies? I don't know anything about him, bro. There's a lot of sealed DVD sets over here. Wow. Look at this Magnum PI sealed first season. Wow. Ricky over there. Ricky, that poster everywhere with you cracks me up. Like just There's no other way to hold constantly it. between your legs. What'd you pick up? A Nintendo 64? I need to get the power pad, the yeah. top cover, but... You should get like a cool color for the top cover. That'd make it look sick. Oh, and you get this too? Nice yeah. in there. Nice. Dang it, Ben. Found a cool hat, but it's sweat, sweat stained to death. This one's kind of sick, to be honest. Ooh, maybe this one. How much for a hat? Five dollars. Five bucks? 
Ben, I told you you shouldn't pose like that. So I did pick up this one. It's really clean. Buzz Lightyear Vans hat. I just wanted it because the inside looks like it's never been worn at all. <laughs> so the last, last booth, you picked up an N64 and, ah, oh, you don't have to show it, we already showed it. A uh, Vans hat. Mario hat. Hey bro, that reminds me of you. So I just picked up all this stuff right here. I'll show you guys at the other booth over there. What'd you look at, Ricky? What'd you see? That's a hundred for all of it. How much for hey, just the Game Boy? One of those, right? 50 for just the Game Boy. So you're looking at 50 for a what? A Game Boy Pocket? Yeah. And then with the games, he wants another 50? Yeah, but the games aren't worth it. This yeah, game. that's the only one that I feel like. Unless, you know, a lot of times we don't know our, the market for everything, but. <laughs> no, Ricky, 70? Huh? 65? You want it? If you don't, I don't take it. I'll take it for 65 if you guys don't. <laughs> I was like, oh. all right, Ricky, let me show them this while we're over there. So I picked up all this for 20 bucks. I'll be honest. The reason I was picking it up, I won't, I won't even show this, even though you guys saw, was for the power supply. It is GameCube OEM. So is the plug and the GameCube memory card. I knew this sells for like 20, 25, maybe even 30 bucks once in a while. So I was like, oh, I'll pick it up for 20. And I was already going to buy it, but then Ricky came over and was like, no, you really should buy it. And I was like, why? I didn't know. My gosh, Ricky, go clean this is. I know, dude. So this controller goes for like... 50 to 70 bucks. So sweet Missoula, and then you got yep. it all for 60 bucks. Finally got a good score. He yes. forgot, he told us, but he didn't tell you it doesn't work. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> what? Do you not see my outfit? I know. <laughs> Actually, there's a guy in the back that's selling a bunch of Marvel stuff. You gotta check How out. far back? Back corner. Like all the way back? All the oh, guy, oh, the, the guy, guy in the back corner. Let's go to him, please. Yeah. What else did you buy? Because you're looking at me you funny. Ooh, look Bell. at that tag, too. Taco oh, Bell? Guess who's coming Yo. to <laughs> and, and, and I collect Pepsi, so it's like a cool Pepsi really? brand. Dang, nice stuff, bro. Appreciate it, man. I love it. Yeah, well, I fun. found a $100 bill. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 Ben just got a Wii for 15 bucks? 15 bucks. That's a deal. Yep. Ricky just found a vintage camel bag and he's debating buying it. Well, he does like camel stuff, but to put his poster in. <laughs> what did he say? That's awesome. I don't think this will protect it though. Oh, Ricky, like... it will. It will. Did you just find this? I just find that. I just found it. It's like probably five bucks. That's no all way. I Or single stitch. It goes over in that pile over, Is it over there. Bro, if it's cheap, I'll you my life. If no, it's no, expensive, no. I beat bucks. you. No, I'm just kidding. It <laughs> is? Please. It is five bucks? Yeah. He goes charge five bucks. Wow, dude, that is epic. So I've actually been hunting for the shirt. I have the jean jacket of this. That's amazing, dude. I love it. Thank you. Ooh, HR Geiger species. Yo, this is kind of sick, to be honest. So this is the Marlboro Adventure Team one, a mini bag. Ooh, I like it, bro. Wow, I mean, we all got our got our bags going on. <laughs> but sometimes you need that backup one. I'd be curious. I might hold on to this and just see what happens. You ever have like, you ever have like one of those moments where you see something and forgot that it was like a big part of your childhood? When I had crazy spiked hair, this is what I would use every time. This LA looks mega hold right there. Wow. Now that is a nostalgia trip for me, dude. That was weird. I, that hit me, bro. I'm gonna buy it. I'm just kidding. Ooh, what's this jean jacket right there? Billabong. This oh, is this Billabong. Is cool what's that? Oh, a rustler. Yeah, Russ Lyman. So I'm having my homie who knows the vendor better to ask for prices for me on all my Marlboro stuff. Again, I'm all good with bargaining, but when I know the vendor is cooler with someone else, even though I'm always cool with vendors, I'm willing to let someone else ask for me. Help me out, you know? This reminds me of playing the Sega Genesis. <laughs> this is like what I played it on, some of this size. So he, he asked for me and he said, how much? 20 bucks. That's a great deal. Dude, people are trying to sell these for like 30 bucks alone on yeah, eBay. Yeah, seriously. Not only the sick Wild Wild West shirt, but the sick Adventure Team, which is a different uh, like offshoot they have of their stuff. Double bag. But then the Marlboro, and this is a tin one. Dude, you're the man. It's funny, we saw you earlier and I was all jealous. And now I'm like, there it is. <laughs> and all right, you got all the goods. Let, let, let me pay you, man. Let me yeah, do that. Worry, thank you, thank you. Ricky, what's some of the best stuff you bought today? Poster, the N64, and probably that Uncharted Collector's Edition thing, but this is... This is my banger for today. What about you? I got some Furbies, then I got a Wii. Got a Game Boy Pocket. What'd you get? I've never smoked a day in my life. I want to make that very clear. I bought all this stuff. Today was a great day. So much stuff, so many games, a lot of Game Boy stuff, a lot of expensive stuff, that white controller that's like worth $70, too much stuff. Goodbye, thanks for watching. Thanks okay. for yourself. <laughs> I couldn't even hit the <laughs>